There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dreadbread. Uh, since you guys love this content, here's some more content for my dreaded hobbies. This is the Warhammer day that I missed. I know I'm late on this. I've been sick. Uh, just going to redo my intro in case I have to redo stuff and cut stuff out for a content ID claim stuff. But I've been sick. There's been a loss in the family. I've had to work through that. Um, I have some issues at work with them basically not allowing me to take time off for that, which is bullshit. And, uh, but I'm feeling much better. Um, it's, it's just been a rough October. I want to get through October and let it be done, which is a shame because I usually really enjoy October. But uh, we're going to be going into the stream here. Um, bah, bah, bah. I will have to mute music and stuff for the videos. So I know that pisses some people off and they dislike my videos because how dare I mute the videos and stuff that they show off. I'm tired of getting content ID claimed and usually it's 50-50. Sometimes it's actually from the people that GW commissioned the music for and other times it's it's bogus stuff. So there you go. That's why there's sometimes there's going to be music and sometimes... Um, sorry. God! I feel like starting the stream over. Let's start this one more time. I am so sorry, chat. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dreadbread. I don't know if the beginning part is actually going to be in in this VOD over on YouTube. I will post the scuff intro that is for the scuff yard up. Um, I'm going to say this one more time. It's been a while since I streamed. I had been sick, but I'm feeling much better, and I have been dealing with a loss in the family and doing... Um, forced to work and not being able to take time off of work is kind of mess with me a little bit my mental health um i am stumbling over my words very badly tonight i apologize let's get through this um as a disclaimer to anybody watching my vods over on youtube and wants to know why i'm cutting out the audio for the videos is because i'm tired of dealing with fake content id claims uh, sometimes they are genuine id claims from gw but most of the time they are not they're fraudulent companies trying to make a buck off of my channel especially when these uh chan when my channel <clears throat> sorry my vods get into the triple digits i think they can make a quick buck buck off of me but uh, they're not gonna allow that to happen so i'm just here Everybody and welcome to the live Warhammer Day preview on Yay! Lewis, and I'm joined by Eddie. Hello Lewis and, and Eddie. We've got some super How's it going? exciting news for you today. You probably turn this up because something has happened to my mic volume. I am not actually yelling. Uh, people who know me in real life, I am very, very soft spoken. Uh, something happened with my mic. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, it happened after I downloaded the free trial to voice mod i uh, messed with my audio stuff and now i have this weird chirping thing that happens with my mic so sometimes i'll be talking and then my voice just cuts out uh, that is not me um i'm pretty sure that has something to do with voice mod i uninstalled it i did everything to like get rid of it but i'm sure there's something still there affecting it but it has affected the volume of my microphone. I have my vi microphone volume on really low, and it sounds like I'm screaming at my microphone when I'm not. So we're going to boost this volume up just a little. Um, and just as a heads up, if this does go into Buzz Buzz phone, does go into uh, commercials and stuff, I will go to just chatting, and I will mute the stream. And we will wait until the commercial goes away, and then we'll go back into the stream. Ready? Ready? Ready. Let's get it. Okay, but first, before we get into that, Eddie, what is Warhammer Day? Well, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, Lewis. Uh, so Warhammer Day is a celebration we have every year just to celebrate. Oh, all my of God. I hate when it... Warhammer, and we usually find Cold chat. Uh, something about that's going on in Warhammer uh, to, to kind of be the theme of it. And this... Cold chat. That was not supposed to happen. I do apologize. Um, I'm trying to get Twitch Studio. I need Twitch Studio up, but it keeps it keeps closing itself. There we go. 
next year we're celebrating oh my god it's not gonna let me all right warhammer. it's 40 years 40 uh, years this year since the very first edition of warhammer came out into the world we've been playing with dice and miniatures and painting up our armies for 40 years so uh, i haven't a but great theme for a celebration i'm sure uh, some people uh, have and this year for warhammer day we are also having a live preview which means we get to show you guys at home some of the cool exciting releases we've got coming up over the next few weeks and months brilliant yay happy warhammer day to happy, you, a very happy warhammer happy day warhammer day, day everybody warhammer day themed plans down sir you are you baking a warhammer day themed cake I, I wasn't going to but now that you've mentioned it that sounds pretty good actually uh, i was planning on sitting warhammer here for cake. about an hour or so with, oh, yeah, with you amazing and, and talking yeah. about some cool new stuff i'd be full of dead bodies and stuff of yeah of course and i have yourself are you, are you am i well, I've celebrating got, uh, anyway i am celebrating yes i've got a combat patrol with my name on that needs painting i've built it nice need to get painting now so maybe some of that stuff that's cool what about what you guys at home it? as well uh, do let us know uh, if you're doing any warhammer day themed things are you um uh, playing some games today I have not been able to touch any of my Warhammer stuff, sadly. Uh, I've been busy with work and everything else. But what about you, chat? Have you been prepping for Warhammer Day or anything like that? I was disappointed with the Warhammer Day miniature, the Angry Gerber Baby. Um, I really don't like that faction. And uh, a lot of people seem to agree with my statement there. And I noticed a lot of people are more happy with me being more honest and kind of uh, blunt with some of my criticisms that i have with some models like if i don't like something i'm going to point it out if i do like something i'm going to point it out and it's okay because everybody's going to be excited for something and disappointed for something else uh, not everybody has the same tastes and that is perfectly fine well let's get back into the video paint some miniatures go into down to your local uh gaming store independent store to play some games of warhammer do let us know yeah and where where you're joining us from as well like people from all over the world watch these previews so where you're joining us from in the world as well. Right? I'm from beyond the grave. That's my, one of my the main graveyard. Yeah, whenever yeah, we ask people where, where they're checking in from, uh, we get hundreds of thousands of people, well, uh, tens of thousands of people uh, letting us know, just flying past with the places. So Japan, Australia, New Zealand. Ooh. It's amazing. Netherlands, Texas, Germany. Exotic Nottingham. I oh, gross, man. Nottingham. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got to love a bit of Nottingham. Not, not the people well, from Nottingham, so but that dude. Thank you for joining in wherever you are in the world. Uh, it's a Lewis, if you got to wipe your nose, use a Kleenex, buddy, not your hands. It's gross. It's a pleasure to, to have you. Uh, a special thank you for those of you who are staying up very late or uh, waking up very early. Shut up, phone. Uh, I think I saw some uh, Californias fly by. Uh, I think it is <laughs> very early in the morning uh, for that half of uh, the, the United States at the moment. Uh, so, uh, Eddie, what have we got in store today? What are we going to be taking a look at today? Sure. So uh, what we tried to do for, for this Warhammer Day is give you a little bit of, of quite a few different systems. Uh, so obviously we've got some Warhammer we have. Teams, Yay! Uh, as well as some kill team. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ooh. we've got some Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So a kind of big two settings. Got some cool juicy stuff on the way. And we can talk to you about that. What about uh, Old World? Think, uh, one thing that we're very excited to, to show today is a few more things for the Old World. Yes. So uh, lots of people have been very excited about um, the return to the world that was. Uh, the, the old world, the kind of land that started it all, which was the setting of the original uh, Warhammer 40 years ago today. So swords and sorcery and magic and dragons and uh, all, all that good stuff. And uh, So I really hope, I, have, I haven't watched this and I haven't watched any of the previews of what is going to be released from this yet. Um, but I do hope that what they show off is not more Bretonian stuff. Bretonians are cool, but... I don't know, like, the, the the couple of things they showed off for the Bertonians have been a mixed bag with me. Some of the model, like, some of it's been neat, some of it's been meh. Been in, all of it's been in resin. I'd like to see some new plastic stuff, because they said new plastic stuff was coming, but they haven't really revealed anything for it, and I really hope it doesn't have the same feel and look as the cities of, free cities of Sigmar, because that, that range has been extremely just dis disappointing for me. I know some people really enjoy it, but I don't think they pulled that off off um, quite right. Uh, especially when they did, um, for those of you who've been around and watched the, my older videos, watch-alongs and VODs and stuff, when they did the ogre thing, the ogre, whatever it was, the, the hungry, angry ogres against the hunters. Um, the hunters were supposed to be like people who were used to living out in the wilds, and out in nature and things like that because they were constantly tracking the ogres and hunting them down and when i hear that i think of people that are kind of more fit thin wire wirely uh kind of tough maybe a little bit swole 
And they had one guy in there who was pretty like much like me. He was overweight, plump, fat, you know, portly. He just didn't fit in with with that aesthetic. Um, because if you're fat, how are you going to run an ogre? How are you going to hide? You know, you're not going to climb up trees very good. Um, you're just not going to have a good day hunting ogres if you're not fit. So, yeah. Big units smashing into each other, uh, really? which is where I started playing Warhammer as well. That was oh, my cool, first game. Right. Uh, not 40 years ago. I wasn't born then, <laughs> but, uh, uh, It's also it. not just myself and Eddie here today as well. We've got Not Lee moderating in the chat for us, keeping you all in line. Hello, Not you're Lee. All, you're all uh, staying safe. And uh, we're joined in the studio by our wonderful producer, Raph, who's pushing the buttons, making yeah. it all happen. Raphael! Because otherwise we're just sitting here in the dark. Yeah, we yeah. don't get to see any of the cool stuff that yeah. we're going to be showing today. So, um, so without further ado... Yes, we get stuck in. Shall we get into it? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh, ooh. So we've got some Necrons right off the bat. Storm clouds gather. Ooh. One will harness the power of this storm. It's angry, scary boy. Something the Storm Lord guy. I can't say his name. He's got an Egyptian name. Ah. So the seasoned strategist, the mighty Necron overlord, Imatech. Imatech, okay. Lord. So some of you might remember the classic and long-serving resin miniature. It's now available in plastic, so a great plastic refresh of this. Don't Imatech's remember the, beef with the resin model. Uh, yeah, he's got beef with, with a lot of people. So uh, as, <laughs> as you say, this is a, um, uh, a new plastic version of a, of a classic uh, character. Re it's not a bad-looking model. Um, it's nice. It's clean. It doesn't have too much going on for it. The cloak's kind of neat, with the little scarabs on it. Um, he's got his hand of doom ready to go. He's about to snap his fingers and make some people disappear. I think the Necrons are pretty cool. I just don't like the way that they did with the lore, how they freed them from their former masters, and now that they speak. I, I'd rather have spooky, alien, angry, metal skeleton boys... Uh, coming at me than guys with rough voices and i don't know that that whole little bit that they that little bit that they tweaked and they changed i don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way um maybe not for everybody i mean maybe some people really enjoy it but for me i'm not one of those i do kind of like this model because i am getting some uh judge dread vibes from it Especially with these things here in the neck. Hopefully. Yeah, all right. My cursor's picking it up. Uh, the Sylvester Stallone movie. Uh, that robot, I can't remember its name, but, but was based off of, I believe, a model that was made by GW when GW had a Judge Dredd game. Uh, I wish they would pick up the IP and bring that back because that would be very, very interesting. Um, it is a very good paint job. I do like it leagues and miles above what i can do i'm just a simple peasant when it comes to painting it's kind of like rural cop legs and things he's got very very i don't know very neat i like it i, I don't have too much to say about it uh he's got one two three four he's got a bunch of power orbs of doom so he must be important right born um he has uh, fought against most of the races of the galaxy. He's one of the very first Necron uh, overlords, one of the, the very first uh, Pharons to kind of wake up from the, the long slumber of the Necrons, the eons of sleep, where they were ready to retake the galaxy. And because he was kind of first awake, um, he decided to kind of claim quite a lot of the Necron Empire for himself. So <laughs> he was like, right, I'm, I'm up first. Um, I I'm in charge here. Uh, so some of the early battles the Imperium had against the Necrons, things like Sanctuary 101, um, it's kind of the very first contact battles they had against them. This guy was the mastermind behind some of those battles. Uh, since then, he specifically had um, fights against the Black Templars, I should say. Mm. He squared off against Hellbrecht a couple of times, uh, and those fights have gone both ways, but uh, there's particular enmity between those two. Mm. But his main rival, really, is the Silent King himself, who's the, the kind of self-proclaimed ruler of the, the Necrons. Uh, so Imatech... Mm woke up first he thought maybe he'd be able to kind of secure his grip on the necron empire and then the silent king has returned and said oh, actually this is this is my birthright i'm, I'm in charge <laughs> um so imitech maybe not too pleased about that so right. there's definite um uh, politicking going on within the necron courts 
uh, those two are not fans of each other at Cherry cool. Hill. And what are some of these weapon loadouts here that, that, that he's got? Yes, please tell me uh, about yeah, that. So, so uh, Imatek is a, is a solid all-round character, so mm. he's he's pretty good in close combat. He's got his kind of uh, hefty war side there. He's also got a, a, a fire, basically, so he's got a kind of inbuilt heavy flamer in his hand. Okay, so that's um, what that does. All right. Uh, and he's also a, a, a very good strategist as well, so he gives you a few extra kind of command points for including him. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very good all-round leader for your army. So if you're looking for someone uh, maybe not quite the level of the, the Silent King, but mm. you want like a really solid all-round commander who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with things like Space Marine Captains and Chaos Lords and stuff like that. Yeah. He's a solid pitch for leader of the army. And a new codex as well for the new edition. Are these guys new? I, I don't play Necrons. If these guys are new, please let me know because I've not seen these guys before. They look beefy. They, they've got like a weapon above their head and got some reinforced armor. Maybe some sticky grenades. Looks like a type of energy sword shield thing. Kind of gives me some Halo vibes. Um, and it looks like they've got some type of weapon also attached to their wrists. We've got these guys we've seen before. I'm sorry, I don't remember any of the Necron tier units and like their names and stuff like that um except for the flayed ones because they wear people's skin because they're weird and then that's the a monolith i believe behind him and then there's some other models that may be another model of him in the background and then those guys looks like they're carrying swords and shield maybe like a beefier unit of that one yeah, absolutely. So we, we knew the Necrons were on their way. Um, uh, we confirmed that they are the next Codex on the way for, for Warhammer 40,000, which is very cool. So uh, if you've got the Tyranid Codex or the Space Ring Codex, um, which is kind of landing in people's hands at the moment, uh, you get a, a sense of the, kind of the sort of thing this is going to bring. So mm -hmm. lots of new uh, rules for your Necrons. There's loads of Crusade content in there as well. So if you're particularly enjoying the narrative uh, of Warhammer 40,000, you can lean into that. Um, but for everybody, you've got lots of different detachments to play with. And much like we've seen with the Tyranids and with the Space Marines, those very much lean into a certain type of play. So you can have your for like um, it massive phalanxes of troops, which is the same kind of way that you'd play. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to hear him out um, because when he did go over the Space Marine Codex or when I did, maybe it wasn't him, maybe it was somebody else. But these guys have been in a lot of um, streams that I've watched lately. But when he went over the um space marine codex something that i wasn't happy with was the kind of taking away the specialty from the different space marine chapters and then basically you could play the space marine chapters however you liked they did say that was a thing that no i don't like that i mean if it was for homebrew chapters fine uh but not for specific chapters because specific each specific chapter is supposed to have their own specialty that they're good in um, I don't know if they're doing that with these guys. Uh, or maybe they're all being forced to play the same way. Um, and I'm pretty sure that there's different... You know, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sure with the Necrons, they, they, they're kind of like have their own specialties too, kind of broken up into different groups. I know they are. I just don't remember what they what their names are. Um so I, I, I hope they're not forcing them all to play the same way, because that would just be kind of silly. They're using your current index, but you've also got things like uh, Necron armies that lean heavily into using lots of Canoptech stuff, or that uh, use lots of um, uh, teleporting around the battlefield, mm. or use lots of things like uh, flay, Flayed Ones and Destroyers and stuff like that. So if there's a particular type of um, Necron army that you'd like to play, there's probably a way to lean into that. Yeah. Um, and okay. So, yeah, yeah, so well, this, yeah. Is, this is one of the legions, which is the, the Hypercrypt Legion. So Hypercrypt Legion basically specialize in movement play, um, moving around the battlefield using uh, Eldritch technology to teleport units and reposition them and have extra move and things like that. And this is one of their stratagems, which is basically you can have a Necron unit out in the middle of the battlefield, mm. and once mm. it's been targeted in either combat or with shooting, it can basically teleport it itself away. So oh, you can okay. use this. Okay. Really, like, if you're a good strategist, there's lots of very cunning ways you can use this. You can flaunt them on an objective or push them very far forward and then... Uh, once your enemy's committed to, to firing at them with multiple units, you can kind of pull them out of position, oh, no. yeah. and all of a sudden, all of the enemy units are uh, 
kind of in the wrong place, yeah, basically. So cool. this is a Necron, a, a type of way of playing Necrons that lends itself very much to people who like to kind of shenanigans around the battlefield with yeah. lots of different weird movement mechanics. <laughs> that is nice. neat. I will give them that. Uh, this might be my favorite way, way of, of playing Necrons as well, which is there's um, an Annihilation Legion, which is oh basically no. uh, you can... Necrons have been asleep for, for millions of years, mm. and over that time, the circuitry inside them has started to kind of fray. They, they didn't have much of their souls left, basically, when they had the biotransference into Necrons. So lots of them have become basically a, a bit insane over the, <laughs> over the millions of years, and that manifests in various different ways. So some of them become destroyers, which are like the guys you can see on the, the screen there, where they replace bits of their arms and legs and things with... Um, uh, technology to make them better at killing some mm -hmm. of them that manifest through things like the flayer curse which is where they think that they are living creatures and try and like take the skin of um yep uh they're the pets of the night lords i saw a little comic about that that was that was pretty funny <laughs> other uh, living creatures and, 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 and drape themselves in that um, and you can represent uh, a force that's basically lost itself to madness uh, and one of the things you can do is, is give them up enhancements and upgrades and this is one of the enhancements you can give to your destroyer lords basically to okay. just make them even scarier than they already are super scary enhancement there for the necrons so, yeah uh, worth saying as well um the storm lord is one of the new uh models that's on his way for the necrons it's not gonna be the only one uh, but it's the one we're showing today so if you like your necrons uh, okay, so we got pretty well out of the last edition models to look there. forward to from stuff. the necrons I quite finished yet but there's a few more things on the way okay right interesting yeah. not giving too much away yeah. there i like that yeah, yeah just a little <laughs> that was good so uh shall we move yeah, on, let's move what on. Have we got coming up next, next? yeah all right, before they go move on to the next one, uh, this is where I'm going to end this vlog here for my people over on YouTube because I am going to be breaking this up into segments because that is how I do it. To the people over on YouTube, I will see you later, but to the people on Twitch, just hang tight.